Spooky game time! And we're back to Spooky Game Time. <laughs> confusion aside. Very. A lot of confusion in this game. <laughs> One thing you said you were confused about is why we saw Lisa entering the front door when she had... <laughs> he gets you from behind every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. I, I should have just shot him. I don't want to waste up bullets. Uh-huh. I don't. Um, anyways, why did she enter the front door of the cabin when she has a secret entrance in the back door? Yeah, it didn't make any sense. I guess maybe she has to, like, forage... She's been around since the 60s, so she's been like that for 30 years. Yeah, and they did. Oop. Oh, hi, zombie. I didn't even notice you. He's replaced the ravens. Oh, I'm fine with that. The ravens were a pain in the butt. Yeah. This guy was easier to dodge, apparently. I know. <laughs> this no. is not in the middle of the row where it's like a have to kill thing. He's not a have to kill. Yeah, he's not a have to kill. He's a uh, maybe I'll kill. And I chose not to. Well, it's just like, I remember you grabbing something from that place, and then her po uh, going into the front door. It's like, wouldn't it have been scarier if she just busted open through the, uh... uh the behind bottom? your item box? Yeah, and you are like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And then you wouldn't go back there, because she'd still be in the cabin. Because you'd think she'd still be in the cabin. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, look at that! Well, gee, I definitely didn't hook this up. No. No. You did not. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> not at all! <laughs> Figured it out with me noggin! Wink. With your noggin. Yeah, you heard me. They should make a phone call, the noggin. The that noggin? Way they say, use your noggin! And then they whip out the phone and they're like, okay. <laughs> I hate it. I should be a marketer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. And no. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, I don't think so. Mm, I hate it and no. Nope. That's where I'm going. I hate it and no. Um. Alright. I don't actually know where those stone objects go. I think I understand what you're talking about. Okay. Well, I don't know what I was talking about. I just was reading something. <laughs> <laughs> Mindlessly. Just read it. Did I even try to understand? It's a, yeah, it was under the stairs? Yeah, it's under the stairs right here. Okay, because I remember there being like, there's moaning coming from this doorway. Yeah. Better not go. Yeah. It's right and the left of the door. Oh. How do you know which one goes where? Yeah. <laughs> what else are you no, gonna do? No, I, I don't want to at all. Although, how's going in here any better than? Oh no, there's a typewriter in an item box. Who cares? Behind an ink ribbon. There's gotta be an ink ribbon in here. There better be an ink ribbon in here. You mean you don't have one in your item box? No, oh, I have like five, but I want more. I think you're greedy, and you're gonna get yourself killed. Okay, wait. Is it just gonna keep leading me down until? Yeah. Eh, okay, fine. <laughs> Fair enough. You got me this time, game. <laughs> but only this time. Uh, it's gotten you several times. It's gotten me with a shark. That's it. That's true. And that was such an easy thing too. That yeah, was just such a stupid thing because I didn't understand the shark was still alive. <laughs> I'm like looking at it like a. Uh... I right. shot at it an awful lot. <laughs> shot at it, and then, oh, oh no, it's this right here. Oh. You're almost out of ink ribbons. Yeah, I'll get more. What do you think? Yeah. Number 27. I don't know, we have saved quite a bit. Well, this is a Resident Evil game. <laughs> yeah? I'm glad ink ribbons are uh, away. You know, not a thing anymore. Yeah. It's just all autosave? Yeah, I'm fine with I that. I do like that, it's yeah. Just, I 
don't need to go searching for say I get it, it makes the game difficult, but at the same time, it makes it just a little too much. Halogen lights! Ooh, what's over here? Nothing. What's over here? Something. Alright, there's a door. I'll slowly open it. Your favorite scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I don't like that. Yeah, that but you got it. You got to do it. It's like a friggin' altar. It is the altar. I told you it unlocks the altar. You just pick yeah, it up. Just just a... <laughs> right, there's no way. There's nothing behind this. Nothing. I don't. I had to go. So. Just a room with a ladder. A ridiculous amount of candles. All right. Just a cool. ridiculous amount of candles. It's like that Jupiter Rising movie. Ah. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Shoot him! Alright, that Oh, that's her. Lisa. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> You're like, uh huh, that's neat, Wesker. I'm just gonna push these blocks here. You know what? I feel like they do something. To the right, yeah. Did he die? Eh, I don't care if he did. Look, I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> See? What if it's her mom? How did she get in there? It is her mom! Okay. I'm gonna put the face back on there. What? On Earth? <laughs> and into the poor girl's visit. Did he die? I think, it, yeah. He just fell off, and you're like, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't care about him. Ooh. Oh, of course. A family, family picture. picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. <laughs> the cure for psoriasis is near. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommy, uh, mommies can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Always for alternate. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms <clears throat> right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is, in, is the next time when we get, uh, go to that lab together. Yeah. We'll both pretend that we're both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is uh, off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. Jessica Trevor! Lisa well, Trevor. I knew I had it too. So all of them are dead. Yep. And I think I just killed the daughter? I don't know. <laughs> well, she just sort of jumped off a cliff, but I mean, Wesker but fell bullets. off a cliff, and I don't think that's going to do it. I just oh. think she's not bothered anymore because she got her mom's skull and her mom's face. <laughs> she's ready to Frankenstein things together. Yeah. She's got it. She knows what she's up to. Sure. What the hell is this? Oh, it's that. And yeah, finally. It's the snake throwing room. <laughs> of course. It all makes sense now. Oh, that looks like there's something I need to put there. A circular depression. Wolf. Shape emblem. Cardins. Oh, God. It's the wolf and the damn eagle them. thing. Let me see. Is it eagle? Uh, yeah. Yep. 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 But try to go on. See I can't, because the door is locked, and let me guess. You sure? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, going back down. <laughs> I, mean, I like how I just, I, I shot one, like, two shots at her, and then I'm like, okay, Wes, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, friend. Oh, oh, did shit. she just shove him off a cliff? Whatever. <laughs> He's only my trusted friend that helped me through this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Chris knew what was up. I feel like it's not hard to kind of figure out what's up. Really? 
this would have confused the hell out of me. Like, I wouldn't have been like, oh, obviously you betrayed us to this evil secret lab situation. <laughs> <laughs> but with somebody betraying you, Rebecca is definitely a klutz. <laughs> a klutz? She mixed medicine eventually to help save you against <laughs> just that. just took plan. a long time when she was just trying to combine 666 six, six <laughs> to make 20. Or whatever you were yeah, doing. <laughs> you're two away, Rebecca. You're two away. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, whatever. Do? I just don't need... Just don't use this. You don't need first aid spray? No, I don't. I think you'll find that you do. I probably will. But you know what? They've been quite generous with the first aid spray right now. Yeah. There was one we never opened. We'll never know. It was in there. The one I've never opened? Yeah, I remember... Um, there was like a, a thing. Oh yeah, down. <laughs> oh, words had lost me, so I couldn't have described it any clearer. <laughs> <laughs> what if she's back there, just like hanging out again? <sighs> Look, she just jumped off a gigantic. She's cliff. the real Norman Bates of this mansion, I have to say. I guess. Why did they? This moved him. Why did they really do that huge coffin for the mom, though? That's the one thing I'm trying to figure out. Like, yeah, George has got a crummy little tombstone underground. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot about it that doesn't make any sense, like at all. Yeah. No, I get that. That's why I'm questioning it. Questioning it. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Why can't they just automatically use it? Like, I know what's happening here. Yeah. I should say, like, hey, you have this in your inventory. Oh, you got it. You, why don't you... Like the keys. Oh, okay. Like the key. Yeah. Yeah, considering there's only six things in your inventory at a time, mm. it would have to be on purpose. That is a creepy... Oh. Well, pop oh, on in, why don't course. you... What is going on here? <laughs> Come on in, the water's fine. Sure, I guess I will. <laughs> Thank you, car. Oh. Um, I was like, there's no car. Yeah, I guess I'll use the other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I definitely thought that other door was gonna open. Yeah, no, it surprised me as well. Where am I? I'm in the laboratory. Huh? Will Sign reads, will not open unless in first class emergency. Ah, so that's going to come up, I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ribbon. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, no, I don't care about yeah, the ribbon on your feet. Thank you. <laughs> Literally through your feet. Is it just one? Oh, it's three. It's three. It's always three, which is nice. So nice. I've been in hard mode, and they only do like one. Ugh. Well, we're gonna save it the 29th time. Yep. <laughs> no, oh, 28th. Great. Get it right. 90% uh, of this game is <laughs> saving screens. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way we play it. <laughs> um, I found out that I have the first Fatal Frame game. You have the first one? Yeah. I, I have the second one. No. Um, but it's for PS2. That's what's confused me. Mm. I'm just gonna take the screen over. Yeah. You haven't really needed anything more no, than that. I <laughs> Slowly open doors. Yeah, oh. there we go. You open to the left at first. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Alright. But it takes it. That's a lab coat guy. Oh, he ain't down. Oh no. I'm waiting. <laughs> I don't see any blood. <laughs> I still don't see any blood. There's another guy over there. Yep, I did the auto aim. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm six! Oh! Whoa! He's gone! I'm gonna combine this. 
Do you want to get Kenzie and start setting bodies on right fire? <laughs> Can't you combine it three times? Oh. Well, let's check it. Check it, check it, check it out. That's all I got. Uh. Oh, you yeah. can. Can I'll you combine have... it four times? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> then it's, there's no paper. It's just green. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all you right. might want to use it. Yeah, let's use it. <laughs> I'm fine now. Yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah. So this is a place of hell. Yep. Look. Okay. That's yeah. probably locked. But there's that something here. Like... Another Mo desk? Mo. That's for a piercing or passage. Of course. So which one's this one? Parasol. This should be just for rebooting system of some sort. Okay. Alright. Can I go in this door? Electronically. Right. Electricity. They figured it out. Those <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Beans. Can I just walk slowly down here? Uh-huh. I'm going to just slowly Left open right. this door. Oh, okay, good. It opened. I'm glad it didn't have to lock it. He's a real lefty. <laughs> yeah, he is. You keep checking that dang map of yours. Yeah, I am. Because I was trying to figure out where to go, and there was a door right there. So I went in. Uh oh. Oh wait, yeah, you can open that. Oh no, I can't. I have the mo disc. Oh dang it! Uh huh. Locks. Now if I can just release the locks and the levers. So the levers have locks. Uh -huh. There's another door. And that's locked. So many locked things. And... Oh, another door. Oh. Not locked. Not locked. Yes. Matlock. Matlock, yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we both were thinking that. Well, da da That's concerning. Oh, okay. that is concerning. Why? Is that somebody's intestines? Why do I? Oh, is it showing you that a monster swallowed? Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today. And as I suspected, I have AIDS. It came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have, to, uh, not to have to become one of them. Yeah. You should get yourself checked. As far as I know, you are not infected. Oh, okay. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a disparate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I set up the terminal in the small security room t uh, so that you can log <clears throat> into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an X-ray picture. A renantogram. <laughs> genogram. Rant. Genogram. <laughs> I I know you, and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. So John and Ada. So is it Ada Wong? Oh. So his is the thing and hers is the password? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, let me make sure I the password. Uh, uh, what? All right. You can log into the system using my name and your name is the password. Okay, okay. so John and Ada. Okay. John uh, Ada. Oh, my. Thank you for that. Ed Fisher. Alex uh -huh. but I can't grab these because I have Holland stuff. Has a colon. Oh. Something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay. Okay. I'll do that Ooh. one. I had to do that when I get back because I. Oh. Oh, that's probably how I figured it out. What do you mean? You put the things up, you put it in red, and it gives you a passcode. Oh. Uh, eh. Well, so. we basically figured out that. 
There's now no we just need to really. put everything back in the box room. That's the first check. Who are you? You're a guy. Yeah. Or a female. Okay. Oh, there's one behind. Yep. <laughs> why? Okay, I'm like, why am I not? Is that glowing? Well... Oh. Huh? Who's yeah. there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should grab some kerosene. I don't know. Yeah. But instead of what? You know what? I'm just gonna grab kerosene and just burn a shit ton of bodies right now. Yeah. Because if I'm going to do the whole escape, I don't need them waking up mm. and going... <laughs> Being reavers on ya. Yeah. Reavers or Revenants, you think? Uh, Revenant. Reavers does work too as well, though. <laughs> I don't really know the difference. Both are acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Bye, burn, burn, bodies burn. burn. Slowly open the door! Burn. What? <laughs> I said burn, slowly open the door. Oh. What do you think I said? I'm not sure if you were also saying burn, buddy. Nope. We already... So... Like, look at that other ammo desk. Yeah, it's, so that, that this one was 1,200. What's this uh -huh. one? 1,200. All right. So two of the same thing. Maybe it was like in case you forgot about it. I don't know what it's all about. Let's burn bodies. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, that's the other thing we're here. Happy Halloween, burn the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to burn the bodies. Oh, you poor fella. You should uh, refill that with the kerosene so that you have enough to remove the bodies now. Fair enough. <laughs> There's still plenty of kerosene in it. Yay! Yay! Uh, there should be plenty still. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I was I was hoping it doesn't do this stupid thing where it's like, oh it's like no, arbitrary. Yeah. No. That's not the Resident Evil we know and love. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember a lot of this in the first Resident Evil. I just remember crappy live acting, and then Barry saying, "You could have been a Jill sandwich." <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Oh. oh. So you think it'll take two kerosene? I don't know. They're so close. We'll just put one on fire and see what happens. Break out the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious, Chris. Uh, was that both of them? I don't know. See if we can use it again. Oh. oh. Let's get near this guy's body just in case. Oh! <laughs> nice! Look what I did! We got a little secret for you, kid. Secret stuff! Okay, let's get Kill the it. bodies next to each other to save on kerosene. <laughs> Make sure to shoot them and they land in all the same place. Then put them on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is, you know, why can't I just drag the body to the... No, I'm not going to grab that. No, <laughs> I was no, about do to do it. it. I'm like, nope, it. nope. <laughs> I need no. to solve this puzzle first. So alphabetical order. Uh-huh. You got yourself Clark, Clark David. Clark David. So D. he's a D. Who's this person right here? B. It's okay. A, B, C, D. So he has to be next. Yeah. What's the last one next yeah. for sure? Okay. And okay. then Gale. Holland, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. No, I'm trying to uh -huh. place it up, but order. We got it. Figured it out. Space to put it. Yeah. We got it. Now let's see what we see. What was in their intestines? Part of it's glowing red. Part of it's glowing red. Part uh, of it's glowing red. Part of it's glowing so red. So that's a lung. I see. So it's like... That's the colon. Colon. Uh, esophagus. Esophagus? I guess. No. Wait. Wait. This is not an alphabetical order? Yeah. 
Okay. A, B. Richard is first. C, D. Oh, okay, yeah. What? That's fine. Um, but go look on that, that note again. So that we can make sure that's the liver, right? So, oh. Yeah, so the first one is colon. The second one was esophagus. The third one was liver. And then the fourth one was lungs. Yeah, lungs. So what do I do with that? Uh, so... Colon. To use the. Wait, okay. To use the. To use the electronic door, place the initials initials in alphabetical order. Oh, huh. The initials of what, though? Well, that. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so we got esophagus. Colon esophagus. Or, colon, colon esophagus. Don't do that. Liver. Liver. And, and then. Lungs. lungs. Okay. Colon esophagus, liver, and lungs. Colon Weird. E L L. Cell. Oh, cell. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Interesting stuff. All right, I can't do anything here because it's locked still. Dirt. All right. But I don't know. Ooh, are you gonna get that? Yeah, I'm gonna. Get I mean, I burned some bodies. I'll probably have to burn one more, maybe a few. You know, star stuff. <laughs> Nothing unusual. Why does it do that? <laughs> I don't know. Raccoon herb, man. Yeah, I get it. It's too green. Too green. Two records. <laughs> Nobody gets this. No. <laughs> no one gets us. <laughs> maybe if we were more accessible with our jokes. We'll, we'll never be that. <laughs> That's the only known locked door. Alright, so. What you doing? Wait, is this locked? Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, god, fine. Fine! We'll sell it up. <laughs> sell it up! Oh, Ada knew a scientist who was killed by all of this, and that's why she. Well, isn't she a secret agent? She's a lot of things. I don't like this. Yeah, no, this is ugly. Why was this? Vact. Research is note. note. There is no evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, well, duh, sorry. <laughs> During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them the axe. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have uh, decided to call it, call its kind, Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype spe specimen can't be left here. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. I'm sure. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. What kind of scientist? So, <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Remember John? John. J O H N? Yeah. Where's the H? This is a strange keyboard. This I've is. never seen one alphabetical like yep. that. <laughs> Verified! Yay. We did it! Oh. Uh, so. Oh. Is that where they just said that they were freezing the body? Uh, I don't know. Alright, we've unlocked everything. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, I know. What a stupid OS. <laughs> really dumb computer. <laughs> oh. Hey, lady. Hey, cadavers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. You should equip your flash grenades. Better your daggers. Uh, okay. Oh, you have eight. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it. I didn't do it, no. <laughs> no, yeah, holy crap. I had a feeling you had more than that. Like, that is definitely gonna... I have magnum ammo here and I can't pick it up. I'll put the kerosene back and then grab some, grab some ammos. But you have yet to use the magnums even once. Yeah, th that's all for the tyrant. All? Yes. Huh. That tyrant. Oh. <laughs> I know nothing of it. I mean, you face that... tyrants. You can face multiple tyrants in the second one, don't you? <gasps> that was my oh. shadow. That's weird lighting. Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. <laughs> oh, you unlocked that door, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Again. Well, I might as well refill my kerosene while I'm here. <laughs> Yay. So, yeah. I, I opened that one and another one. So, what we should do right now, Julia, uh -huh. is something very special. <laughs> What's that? Saving it. Oh. And then... Number 29. Yep. And then... <laughs> ending this episode! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a horror game <laughs> that's not very hor horrifying. Um, but we're horrible. <laughs> we're horrible at it. That's very true. And they get to experience that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucky them. I mean... I would say that I'm glad I'm not playing this, because, ugh, I'd just be too freaked out to play. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see you next time on Spooky Game Time, and hopefully we'll uh, do more exciting kill-kill things.